Welcome everyone to episode 59 of the top 5 PvP battle series. If you guys want to send in your own clips to be featured in the top 5, you can send them to ChristopherESO at Hotmail.com. Without further ado, our first clip this week is brought to us by Nero ESO, and he is doing a bit of a 2VX on his Stam Warden here with a friendly Necro, and look at this alt dump. The Necro ultimate comes down, the Warden ultimate comes down, and just squish so many blue players. It looks like eight blue players dead on the stack there. But that was just the front end of this blue group. And they're continuing to trickle in here. But much less organized as the front end got squished like that. And uh, Nero and his friendly Necromancer here are just going to keep rotating their offensive abilities. And being patient and waiting for the blue to come up here. Finding a good target by himself here. Nero puts huge damage into him. Finishing him off almost with the Executioner. But opting to go and bash the rest to prevent this guy from getting one of the dead players up. And the blue players are starting to pile up again on the stack of bodies here there's a huge dawnbreaker from nero to finish off almost all of the remaining blue players and there's just a few more stragglers left and he's just going to keep rotating his offensive buff here there's a nasty scoop with the dizzy swing goes for the executioner and they're going to chase this guy down to finish off i believe he was the last one i'm not sure i think that was all of the blue in the tower there and for good measure they're gonna drop the donnie on the flag and wipe it as well now for our next fight we have got precaution on his stamina sorcerer and he's hanging around in the imperial city here just teasing this big group of red players and here you can see the red players turn around just for a moment distracted by the other player and precaution with that nasty dawnbreaker from behind and the dizzy swing finishing off the second and then the third with the friendly player there and now he's just going to continue to move around looking for the rest of this red group and he finds a whole bunch more just hanging around here and uh, precaution is going to take those precautions he doesn't jump right into the red group instead he's going to kite back behind the side here and wait for them to attempt to start to res these bodies and picking up a really nice kill on that guy there just a ton of damage and Precaution finds himself right in front of the Red Zerg. He quickly sidesteps up the staircase here, and uh, they chase him down the side here. He's just going to kite down to the bottom and then use the Precognition to teleport back up to the top. Not a single Red player was able to keep up with him there, and he's just going to drop right back down on his spot here. Get a massive crit combo there with the Dizzy Swing into the Executioner, bringing that guy down again, not letting these Red get back on their feet, and uh, Precaution is just going to continue to kite around here the red group starting to look for him and hunt him down so he kites around to the outside finds himself in a one-on-one -on -one with this enemy templar here and he's just checking his surroundings making sure it's just him and the enemy templar and now he goes to work there is that nasty dizzy swing off balance the partial charged heavy stun and down he goes and precaution works his way back up to his spot here and he drops back down on these guys going for again the dizzy swing combo the executioner this guy actually blocking the attacks but getting killed through his block there precaution rocking so much damage on his stamp sword and two more players down just like that and now precaution is going to finish off the last few npcs standing there another red player comes wandering in it's actually the templar from before and there's the dawnbreaker into the executioner a clean combo again to bring that enemy Templar down and Precaution goes back into the house waiting for another red to jump on top this guy committing to the res here that is not the move that you want to make Precaution just getting that super nasty bash on him and then finishing him quickly off with the Executioner and now he's got the large group of red back on top of him here he goes for another kite with his precognition there and that is how he manages to escape with his 10k stones intact now moving on to our next clip, we have got Akinos coming back on his Magicka Necromancer and he is just outside of, I think, the uh, Bruma? I think this is Bruma, yes, and he's fighting a bunch of DC players here. The DC players actually zerging up on a yellow player here. Akinos going for the Necro Smash Alt, taking no prisoners, killing off the yellow player and the DC player with that smack, and he's going to finish off another DC player with uh, his combo there and off the Blast Bones, and right away goes for the Bash to stop this guy from rezzing. He tries to commit to the pressure with his Drain there, unfortunately taking too much damage from the 
other players. And Aquinos just so quick to swap to his back bar there and get that snappy heal up. Um, just watching his hit point bar as he attacks these guys. And he's just going to back up here, reset his combo with the Blast Bones, and continue to work his way into these guys. They're putting quite a bit of pressure up. Aquinos caught with a nasty stun out of stealth by the Nightblade. The alt dump coming down as well. But he responds well with his heals once he gets back on his feet. And he's going to trap with the ultimate here. A huge Necro Smash coming down. There's the Vampire Drain to finish off that player as well. And Akinos is going to turn onto the enemy Nightblade. Um, he actually finished both the blue players off with that Smash. And it's just the blue Nightblade left. Now he's going to attempt to go for the res here. Akinos is quickly going to dot him or hit him with the Drain to prevent him from uh, getting that res. And the enemy Nightblade just a little patient to re-engage here. Waiting for more blue players to come by. And Akinos just wants to seal the deal on this kill. He's continuing to summon the Blast Bones here and just watching his back. He's got another Nightblade sniping him in the tail here. And uh, he's just going to reset with his buffs again and try to get a combo with his Blast Bones on these guys. An enemy Dragon Knight running over the hill, spouting out the fiery breath as well. Akinos just kites around the corner here and he's going to turn onto the Dragon Knight, open up with the Drain, gets the Blast Bones combo, but the enemy DK has got his defense up already, hits him with that Fossilize and Akinos right away target shifting towards the enemy Nightblade here and he goes into his Goliath ultimate and he's just going to go right for the Vampire Drain plus the AoE dot pressure from being in the ultimate and uh, he quickly brings down the enemy Nightblade turning to put the pressure onto this Dragonite here. The enemy Dragonite just cannot deal with the pressure and this last enemy Nightblade just jumping into stealth and he ends up running away. For our next battle, we have got Ned Gam on his Magicka Warden, and right away he picks up a super nasty burst on the first player that runs into this tower here, going into his ultimate to follow up on this guy, trying to go for the res and bring, bringing him down as well, tanking out the opposing meteor there, and he's just going to go right back into his offensive combo with the deep fissure, and just so much damage off this Magden. Ned Gam just really putting the pressure on these guys. He's just going to kite back up to the top here just to reset his buffs, reset his vines as well. He's going to stop that res with the uh, with the Vampire Drain. Look at the, how fast he's cancelling that drain. So much damage onto that enemy Sork. Almost bringing him down with that snappy combo. The Sork caught with his pants down on the stun there. And uh, Ned Gam just whipping out those drain stuns. Just so quick to flick that drain stun. And he's just trying to get that big combo on one of these players. Just being patient. Waiting for that nice deep fissure connection. A really good tank on that incoming meteor with the block. And he follows it up with his ultimate he's going for big pressure on these guys here the uh enemy player just taking too much damage from the combo in the ultimate with the deep fissure he goes down ned gam quickly turning around to the player in the back there but uh keeping an eye on the bodies this guy trying to res again that lightning quick animation cancel on the stun there and now ned gam has worked his way outside of the tower just a big combo on that sort there to tear him down with the stun as well look at that he catches this guy with the stun on the gap closer coming in just beautiful gameplay on the magdin here and uh he is gonna bring it home and finally guys for our final clip we have got zidan on his stamina dragon knight and he's just hanging out outside of alessia here just picking a fight with the yellow that are coming out of the keep and uh he just goes for the dot up on the first player here he's got the poison injection down Gets the dizzy swing. Unfortunately, the knockback from that enemy player there. And Zidane does not commit to the offensive pressure there. I know he wanted to go for the leap after that dizzy there. Um, but too many yellow players pouring out of the keep now. So he just is uh, going to sit in the terrain here and just wait for these guys to come and jump on top of him. And Zidane just goes for the first dot up on this guy here. Hits him with the uh, hits him with the noxious breath as well. Taking quite a bit of pressure from these guys. Right away responding with that preemptive vigor. Rolling through there and then LOSing and just trying to pop those heavy attacks off as he goes around. Getting that extra resource back and just playing it patient here. Waiting for his opportunity to get that big lead leap huge burst on this guy here again Zidane unable to stick the kill and he doesn't overcommit to it he decides to just back up and that was a really good call a massive alt dump from the enemy players there but the healing power on stamina dragon knight and Zidane with the good kite maneuver is able to come back and he's just going to keep on working around these rocks here continuing to pop off those heavy attacks now this is a huge part of this fight here every time he gets an opportunity to start
start winding up that heavy attack when he's safe. He goes for it, and there we see the huge combo off that leap. Finishing one of the yellow players off there, and uh, Zidane's just going to keep an eye on that body. A interrupt right away as the player just goes for the bash there. Zidane almost getting the kill again, but getting hit by the Sork Streak at the last moment. And he's going to have to kite back behind the rocks here. Keeping an eye on that body though, but I don't think Zidane's going to be able to prevent that res from happening. So he turns around here, he throws the AoE pressure down, goes for the leap into the Executioner on the player in the back, bringing another yellow player down. A nasty stun there as he goes for the hop um, off of his defensive cast, and he's just going to keep kiting around the rock, doing his best to keep his heals up and keep those heavy attacks going off as well. Even on the great sword bar, he's making sure that he's getting as much sustain as possible in this fight. He's going to need every little bit of resource that he can, and there you see the heavy attack into the leap, and a clean kill on another yellow player as he pops him up on top of the rocks there, and he's going to push into this enemy Nightblade here who's trying to escape, but doesn't have an answer to the amount of AoE pressure that Zidane's throwing out with his uh, noxious breath. Just a casual 24k leap. No big deal. He's just going to nuke that guy from full health. Turn on this guy here. Just dot him up into the Executioner. And wow, just like that, Zidane has torn every single one of these guys down. And he's got just this last enemy player left here. And Zidane just starts dotting him up. Starts to open up with his uh, combo here. The Dizzy Swing goes down into the leap. And the Executioners, the enemy Templar, responding well with the roll dodge into the block. And the Breath of Life there managing to bring himself back. And then responding with the stun on Zidane as another opposing sword comes into the fight here. And Zidane's just going to head back to his rock here and uh, just dot up the enemy Templar. Now the enemy Templar here continuing to keep the pressure on instead of purging off those negative effects. And that's exactly what Zidane wants. It's going to give him an opportunity to turn around and hit this guy with a huge combo. And there we see he's fully dotted up. Beautiful animation cancel off of that Executioner as well. And I am going to leave you guys to enjoy the last little bit of the fight. We, of course, have a bonus clip brought to us by Star Gleam following the end of this fight. A huge shout out to everybody who sent the clips in this week. Thank you guys so much for sending in those clips. And congratulations for making it into the top five. We have got links to everybody who was featured in today's episode down in the description below. So be sure to check them out. If you guys want to send in your own clips or builds to be featured on the channel, you can send that to ChristopherESO at Hotmail.com. You can catch live gameplay from me on Twitch, and of course, give me a follow on Twitter if you want to keep up to date with my shenanigans. Check out my website, ChristopherESO.com, if you guys want to see some written guides, or if you're just looking for a hub for all of my ESO content. We are sponsored by What The Fast. They're a VPN for gamers. They give me better ping to my favorite game, and they're free to try for the first 30 days. No credit card to sign up via the link in the description below. Below. And then last but not least, if you guys love the show and you want to help support it, you can always become a patron on Patreon. Without your help, I wouldn't be able to do this job, so thank you guys so much for helping out. Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, have a fantastic night, everyone, and I'll see you next time.